Hi, I'm Maureen Collins and I'm the owner of The White Azalea and this is Mondays with Momo. In this video, I'm going to show you two separate table settings and the first one is going to be coffee with the girls and the second one is going to be brunch and bellinis. The first thing we're going to do today is coffee with the girls and I'm going to call it coffee clutch. I used to call it coffee clutch, that's what everybody in my family called it until my friend Buddy corrected me and told me clutch and clutch is the German word for gossip. So what could be better than coffee and gossip with the girls in the neighborhood? We're going to start with a simple place setting and today I'm using a, uh, a round linen placemat. Then use a white plate and um, white plates are great and white dinnerware any kind of white dishes that you have because it creates a and just an easy backdrop and the next thing I'd like to use is this really pretty candle ring and we're just going to create layers and that just gives it a lot of interest and this is a lavender candle ring and then I'm going to use this little brown and white toile bird plate that I have um, you can use any dishes that you may have collected over the years and they can you can mix and match them They don't have to be all the same and then simply just uh, Your spoon and your fork and just crisscross it and It looks very sweet So for my centerpiece, I chose this great wicker basket. It's large and uh, I love the color of it. It goes great with the linen placemats. And um, the idea is to create three different levels. And the reason why you want to do that is just the presentation looks great. Your food looks better. You can use anything that you have around the house, like you know bowls or um, cake stands, or maybe you have a candy dish that you can use and um, fill them with whatever food you're serving for the day. Uh, I just filled this bowl with some black and white cookies and uh, a, a great coffee cake on this plate stand. And then I added this large high uh, candle stand. And to continue with the, the um, the pretty lavender that I have. I, I put another lavender candle ring and um, added a candle and it, it just makes it look cozy and it makes the food look great and everybody's just gonna wanna dig in. The last thing that we're gonna do is put out our serving pieces and um, I have some milk glass pieces here that I love. They've been in my family for years, but you don't have to use antique pieces. You can use uh, something that you picked up recently, and this is an adorable sugar and creamer set that I have. And then I added um, some little lavender cocktail napkins, and um, it just completes the theme. And I think the girls will just love it, and they'll be able to gossip about it for days. So this is my table setting for my brunch and bellinis. And a bellini is made with peach nectar and prosecco. I don't get crazy, I just go to the supermarket and um, pick up a bottle of peach puree. Um, you can make it if you have the time, but to make things simple, it's just easy to go to the grocery store and pick it up. This is a much simpler table setting and I'm um, using the same white plates and I paired that with a simple blue and white placemat. And um, then I have a coordinating linen napkin and I'm just gonna place that right across the plate. And this cute little blue plate, blue and white plate that I had around the house and just feel free to use any plates that you have. I'm sure you've collected several of them. And then I tucked in the little spoon and fork underneath the placemat. I thought that was a cute, cute little way of presenting it instead of putting it on top. And then we have our water glass and we have our champagne flute. At the ends of the table, I ran out of blue plates, so 
Um, I found this little B plate that I had and it coordinates well with the yellow flowers that I decided to use in the center of the table. For the centerpiece, I'm using the same basket that I used in the last table setting, and we're making it a little bit more casual. Um, I'm using the same linen napkin, and I put that in the basket, and put my bagels in, and um, the cream cheese, instead of putting it out in the package it comes in, I put it on a little um, display dish. We have our pitcher of water, and then yellow goes great with uh, blue, so I've decided to use this um, cobalt blue vase and some yellow flowers, and it just brings the whole thing to life. I've also added the black and whites, and I put them in a little candy dish that I had, and that completes the blue and white setting. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more decorating tips, visit thewhiteazalea.com. See you on the next Monday with Momo.